Very cool. Christine and the Queen's eye thing. Uh, no. I'm just trying to invite Jeremy. I have no idea what I'm doing as usual. Um, I think I do this. I think I do this. Can't find his name. Doesn't seem to be there. Request me, Jez. Request me. Uh, let's see. What about this? Mm, nah. That's got a sort of planetsy vibe. Um, yeah, request me, Jez. Hear me now. Uh, that's not Jeremy. As usual, I don't think the question. Oh, there you are, Jez. Right. Oops, disappeared. That was weird. Jer. Okay, I think that's worked. Anyway, there you hello, go. Hi, hey man. I'm... Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yes. All right, we're, we're doing this thing. Is this it? Are we in? Yeah, we're in. It's really, uh, really exciting, apparently. So, Re sorry. As usual, viewers, questions from your viewers will show up here. And they haven't, so we're just okay. Going cool, through, we'll just vibe it then. Going through the fucking comments and hoping we can read all of these questions that have already been written. That one's in Arabic. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna scroll up to the top and see what's what. <sighs> this just doesn't work, does it? This, this program, um, <laughs> come on, we can do we can do this. Good morning, John. That's not really a question. Wagwan comrades, yeah. We're yeah, just yeah. vibing. That, that's quite offensive. <laughs> How do you enjoy playing the early songs? That's a question. Good question, Jez. Um, we enjoy a lot of them, loads. But it's kind of like going, it's kind of like trying to re-inhabit a past life or something sometimes, especially with the very early stuff. Uh, it's difficult to kind of re-inhabit the energy that we had when we were like 23. But uh, we'll be doing more of it in future, I think. Yep. What was the um, planet's video about? Does it represent the song? That's for you, that is. Look at this, by the way. Hey, uh, the video, well, you can't film the band, can't film anything, can't, <laughs> can't make anything. Kind of a bit limiting, so I thought I'd use a monkey to uh, protagonist in the song. Um, I kind of wanted it to be like uh, Carl Sagan, like Cosmos, 70s, sort of slightly crappy uh, space stuff. And the monkey just seemed to fit in in like a 2001 Space Odyssey kind of way. There's some kind of deep connection between the planets and monkeys. So it was really uh, as simple as that. And then as I was filming it, Lots of weird, dark stuff started to creep in because I was on the bridge, and then I started to look, at, started reading the "Don't Jump Now" signs, and and he just looked so sad when he was sat in all those blocks and uh, the sort of underlying story of him being very, very sad was crept into it, which wasn't my intention to begin with. But I am a sad person, so it comes in. Right, hey, it's Jeremy from Falls. Right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're getting these much later than me, which is good because no, you can... I can scroll right up to the top. Oh, what can you do that? Uh, Saturn, obviously, it's the, rules the world. Oh, you can scroll up to the top, that's good. I'm afraid all the questions are there, Jez. Okay, cool. Um, if Dave Sardine just joined, then who's Jonathan? Hi, Rich. Uh... I'm not Dave Sardine. There's several people pretending to... Well, you are him. None of them are me. No. We we don't think Dave's doing that well in lockdown. You know, he's been suffering. Um, we've not heard from him for a little while. Yeah. We need to check in with him. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Jesus. Right, should we watch some of these? I mean, read some of these. Let's read some actual questions, yeah. Um, in the Independent, John. Um, 
I didn't know I was, but I, I yeah, great. It makes a change from uh, the indie Mika. Right. What's do you favorite? like Leanne's cover of Final Form and would you collab with her? Uh, yes, we do. And she's a good friend. And we sort of attempted a collaboration with her on duet, believe it or not. But it didn't really, it didn't suit anybody. <laughs> I don't think the song suited her that well. And, um, and we didn't suit her. Um, thank you. Um, she's a great singer, though. And in a way, she was too good for the song, in a way. Like too yep. crystal. Uh, why did you choose Planets for the next release? Love it. Uh, the people we work with, we allow to make those decisions because we get so bogged down in indecision <laughs> and uh, disagreement, really. So it's kind of good to have people who are less steeped in the music to help us with that stuff. Jeremy, do you have an axe? I think what that is referring to is the fact that I look like Jack Nicholson. And yes, I do. Uh, it's because last time I had an axe on here, I think. Oh, did you? Oh, right, yeah. We kept it all right beside my head. Um, what name? He's called Mr. Bins. Who's Stick called him. Mr. Bins? The monkey. Oh, yeah. Is that what you um, called him? Yeah, I had to. Speaking of 70s legends, did you ever watch any Jim Henson films when you were younger? Um, does the crystal, dark crystal count? That'll do. If it's crystal. Christmas Carol. Who hey, Jeremy, climbed up? Who's your favourite bass player? My favourite bass player? Yeah. Um, one person. Probably probably Paul McCartney. <laughs> it's probably Macca. It's his birthday. He's 78 today. Peace and love. Um, yeah. Jeremy, Alex said you took the lead on sequencing Reanimator. What was that like? Actually, what I did do is I had... Um, I just like wrote all the songs out on bit on strips of paper and then just sort of rearranged them on my kitchen surface um, for an afternoon and sent photos to the others. And that's sort of how we got there. I think the fact that I was of the four of us, probably the least connected with the songs in a way I'd had the least, I'd had the shortest relationship with them. That kind of helps you to be um, it's, it's sort of objective, which is what you need when it comes to sequencing. Here's one for you. Who climbed up the climbing frame to put the monkey on top? That was me. And then I had to climb all the way down and film it and then climb all the way up and get it. It was a day or a few days of just me. In fact, I was filming him when he was in the Blossoms. And then this old man just came out of nowhere and started talking to me. And I, and I was in the middle of a take doing the whole song, sort of like this, trying to see in the camera. I couldn't possibly see because I was doing it all by myself. So I was just stood there just miming this monkey. And he appeared about 30 seconds in. I just had to do the whole song sort of while he was there. And I was even saying over the top, like, just making a music, a music video, mate. And he was just sort of looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? And out here, man. <laughs> Which is stupid. Has anyone... What's the meaning behind... Go on. What's the meaning? Go on, Jess. I, mine are all stupid here. Are we going to hear Big Climb before the album drops? I don't know we don't know we don't know what's your favorite bass line to play i'm gonna think about that and come back to you um were cold play an influence um we all liked their first record a lot when we were mm -hmm. like 15. Coldplay, yeah definitely but everyone thinks that the monkey is somehow connected to one of their videos that i've not seen but i've seen screenshots of it today and there's some kind of awful cg monkey in it um, I haven't seen that um, and I don't think I even know that song it's called like something to do with life living your best life or something by, by Coldplay mm -hmm. we um, we had quite a good afternoon at the Q Awards once when me and John saw Chris Martin on the other side of the room and we were like let's go and let's go and piss him off he likes our band and on our way over uh, this hand came out and grabbed John's arm and said I've seen you you're on the telly you're good. Have you met Bono? And it was Noel Gallagher introducing John to Bono. And uh, that was a funny moment, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a strange, very strange moment. Yes. Though we in the success. Well, we didn't even get to Chris Martin, did we? I found, he, no, we did, because we told him we still liked Parachutes. And he said, 
well, then you are a fool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we like you first album. We just set the out of us for liking it. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, if you see this comment, blink thrice. Well, do I have to do it now that I've read it? I'll, I'll just, I have seen it. Hi. Um, <laughs> belly dancer in Shrewsbury. Wow. It wasn't just a belly dancer. A belly dancer was on before us, but so was a band called Barely Legal. We weren't old enough to be in the pub we were playing in. And fucking legends. There was a power cut during their set. So it was just, and I mean, the set. It was just some kids standing. There was no stage because they couldn't use the upstairs where the actual live room was because of some licensing things. So they just stood in the corner of the pub. Um, and then the lights went out. And then a belly dancer came on. And then we played. And during Suffragette, someone came up to me during the song and just went, So what are your influences, mate? <laughs> Such a great gig that one. Great gig, yeah. But barely legal had to had to be had to be out by eight PM because their dad was coming to pick them up. Yeah. And they weren't yeah. really allowed to be in the pub. Is there a track you are most excited about us hearing that you haven't released yet? Well yeah, like most of the record really. Choose one, John. Saw you in Nottingham a few Father's Days ago. When is do you, prefer, do you prefer big or small venues? The first part of that question is so good. Um, <laughs> was, I can't ever see the crowd. Keep my eyes closed. There's lights in my eyes. As long as I make loads of noise, I don't really care. Um, I've got things in my ears anyway. I can't really see or hear you. There's the truth. So, <laughs> I'm really bad when I play a gig. Can't see you, can't hear you. Um, and sweat coming over my eyes anyway. Um, Would you ever play? Oh, I believe it now. Oh, I I'm doubt it. it. And if someone else is asking it, uh, I doubt it. I'm on I doubt it. How hard is it not being able to play for people because of Corona? Uh, it's pretty, it's just boring, really. Um, it'd be nice to play a gig by now. It's been a while, it's been a hell of a long time now. Uh, Joe played some more recently, obviously, but uh, we haven't played them for a long time. So when did you first try your hand at Blender? Just before lockdown, really, about a month before I started just dicking around with it. I made that stupid hand washing animation, which you may remember, uh, with someone singing, like a girl from Hooters singing Happy Birthday over the top of it. And uh, that was the first thing I made. And then that second thing I made was the, was the Invert Song video. What's Jez sipping on this fine day? It's so obviously uh, an expensive German lager. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. Tegin Sir Carling. Hill. <laughs> Carling. Um, have you given up on politics like Jonathan has, Jeremy? No. I mean, I don't think I've got a choice, really. I think I have to stay there like we all do. Uh, next single when? Well, today, Marco. So give us a chance. Uh, it's not a single Jez. It's not a single Jez. Officially, it's a track. It's a track. That's true. Yeah, I mean, uh, what does a single mean anymore? Uh, the other two albums track. that inspired this record. Albums that inspired this record. That's a good question. I'm rocking my brains now. <laughs> um, Our own, <laughs> as yeah. ever. Don't make it sound like TV Dream. Mm. Uh, do you have any initial ideas for videos you weren't able to execute because of quarantine? Yes, we were going to have a video directed by someone else where we were all strapped to uh, like a, I guess like a pendulums. pendulums. And we were just going to be like upside down and being sick and couldn't be done. We were very nearly, we were just about to make it and then lockdown happened. We were like, oh shit, we can't, we can't even put this song out, let alone make this video. Um, why the name Reanimator? Well, a Reanimator in this instance is supposed to be a thing that pulls you out of your everyday, uh, like living in the in the simulation where you don't really think about your life. You just go through emotions, and you eat the food they say you should eat, and you go on Instagram like we are now, and you never really live. And Reanimator is a thing that comes into your life and suddenly makes you come alive. If it's a motorbike to the face or a newborn baby daughter or death of your dad or whatever it is, it's one of those moments that makes you wake up and come alive. 
I would say. That's my, my current uh, explanation. Which leads me on to, can we have the demo of Come Alive Diana, please, lads? Well, it, it, there are a number of versions of that song, loads of incarnations, and we've been going through the archives a bit recently, and they may, one or more of them may see the light of day. Who, who knows? We'll see. You want something massive poo on cam. Thanks, God, Joseph. Um, right, yes, here's a great question. This is probably going to take up. <laughs> Favourite okay. Bond. Favourite Bond. Ooh. Um, as in actor or film? Are we, or how are we interpreting this? Uh, it's got to be, which is the best Bond? It's got to be. Do you know, <sighs> we've I mean, talked about this before. I'm happy to talk about it again. We talked about this as much as we've made music and honestly we've been right around the houses and I I actually think that Brosnan is the best Bond. He's the right mix of sort of cheesy and sentimental and thuggish and handsome and uh, idiotic. He, he's, he, he is the best Bond. He happens to have only two half decent films and two absolute rotters but he he captures the character best. What are you doing? Someone <laughs> said my mic sounds like it's underwater. And that's because it's on like the lip of the table. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. That's why I've got these on. Well, flip it upside down. Do I just go upside down? Is that the crack? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's fine. I didn't know if it would flip or what. You're just gonna have to deal with it, Kayla. Um, uh, Brosnan, it, or he's, Brosnan is the best Bond. But his films are the worst. Yes. Who has the best films? Connery, probably. Connery is also probably the second best Bond. Uh, the best Bond films are the Connery films, yeah. Yeah. That's probably yeah. We've probably spent enough time on this question. But, yeah. you know, I'd like to stay here, but we probably shouldn't. What's your opinion about tambourines? I like them a lot. There was a very, very, very long, drawn-out disagreement about the tambourine in Lost Powers, which is our opening track on this new album. Um, Mike eventually won and we kept it out of the first verse and that was the upshot Mark yeah. Stevens dot art says Mick Khan couldn't agree more what's your favourite song on Reanimator ooh I don't know I think it's I don't Violent think I have Sun Violent Sun yeah possibly um, I, I like loads of it I like all of it happy birthday Macca boy absolutely it's my birthday too yeah Jeremy what inspired you to play bass uh, the fact that nobody else would, basically. And um, uh, I found it easier than playing the guitar. <laughs> and I played the cello a bit, so I think I understood uh, uh, sort of how to, how to play a bass role, really. Yeah. What do you feel is the most notable change in the use of the English language as a sung medium? Ooh, meaty. Well, there are Americanized vowels, whether you like it or not, when you sing. Mm. Um, that my hair, I've got like a few loose hair in there. It's annoying. Um, yeah, you have Americanized vowels now, not now, just it's easier to sing them, Irish ones apparently. Um, oh, right, yeah. There's loads of uh, whenever I turn on the radio, I hear um, this kind of uh, this voice, this effect, affectation that I think started with maybe with a lord or someone around that time. And it's this kind of, I can't even do it, but it's this really, really kind of mangled um, way of singing that people think is how you sing good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the, not, not the gravel thing. It's not the male usually, but men do do it as well. It's not the, uh, what's he called? You the, know, you know, let's not, let's not go into it. <laughs> <laughs> cool name. Um, <laughs> It's not his voice. Um, no, and I can't even do it. So this is a really pointless anecdote, but it's, there's, there, there are massive trends and it's nothing to do with the language. So again, I haven't answered the question. It's, um, it's almost a dialectical thing, isn't it? Like an affected dialect. Uh, yeah. How hard is the whole not being able to play? Oh, no, we've done that one. Sorry. Yeah. Don't um, you dare disc Oh, we didn't at all. Like Coldplay. No, we didn't. Lots of like love for that band and... and they lent us a synthesizer, actually, when we made Ark, so we would never. Uh... Of Ark in the album, what the hell does that mean? 
Can you please tell me what on earth Alex is doing, doing it, what pedal he is using in the guitar solo of Run the Numbers? It'll be the Jada pedal that he uses on, on almost everything, I would have thought, although I don't know for certain. What does it mean to love someone more than the planets? Who are you asking and why? Well, I'm actually asking a question. Can you love me more than the planets? Um, and it's ambiguous as to whether I'm saying that you love the planets more or the planets love me more. So there's already a dual meaning there, but it's kind of about the love of nature and natural things and the form and um, the galaxy and the universe rather than trivial human love. And if you can't get that one, can you get the other one? And it's me saying, do I have to give up a romantic love and just um, let one of us go over me in a field? Or can you love me, please? Um, From the sublime to the ridiculous, best U2 song. There uh, is one Josh true answer here. Nah. And it, and it's not on Joshua Tree actually, and it's Sunday Bloody I'm Sunday. Where to go? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you ever heard? I, when early days of Napster, I downloaded the alive, like sad version of, of it, and it was fucking great. And I is it? I've it. never heard that. Like, yeah, we we have a soft spot for for you too. Like a lot yeah. of people. Can someone say trans rights? Yeah, trans rights. Fuck yeah. a lot of poo, a lot of poo coming in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hardest EE song to sing technically? Uh, probably Blast Doors. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's hard for all of us. It's just listen to it. Listen to the verses and then listen to that fucking chorus. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the bridge that's so high, isn't it? It's a nightmare. Fastest shouted verse. And then straight into the bridge, which is so so high, <laughs> and then it's relentless chorus. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm it's, from Portsmouth too. That's why you can only ever put uh, blast doors in the set, like first or second or whatever, because it's just it's death. No, we used to though, didn't we? We used to put it open with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why? I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Have to do it while you still got full, full compliment. Yeah. Did the planet's video take inspiration from Dutch Uncle's Decided Knowledge? I can't remember with that video. Which one is it? Uh, I don't know either. But we'll have to, we'll have to check it out. I, it's a great song. I can't remember the video now. It's really, we don't get it to puppet, won't it? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Do a Minecraft gig. How is that possible? We'll do a PUBG gig. Right. King of Limbs or Amnesiac? Um... Amnesia. I mean, yeah. stupid. Do a shite now. Has it evolved? <laughs> <laughs> They're really going for this. Well, that um, particular person is really going for this. Uh, yeah. What do you what think of red? What does right. Infinity Face actually mean? We considered it for the name of the band in 2007 <laughs> for about five minutes. Uh, my OG video inspired by RAF Spade Adam. No, but R.S. Spade Adam <laughs> might be before the year without, funnily enough. Um, Hi, Morwenna. <laughs> uh, great, great band. Oh, great question. Fun. Thank you. Um, so another, there's another question here about the solo in Run the Numbers. It'll be the Judder pedal, I think. Johnny 96. Release the planets. I don't really know. I don't know why. It was a <laughs> quite weird, isn't it? Um, how many B-sides and bonus tracks are there from Reanimator? Let me think. None. Uh, well, so we've got a couple of things we kept back, didn't we? So, we'll see. Two or three things. Uh, are you going to still make videos after the lockdown or are they just scrapped now? Well, we're not going to go back and remake, you know, Arch Enemy video or anything like that. So, I guess they're scrapped. But we'll see. In the future, you might see us on pendulums in, a, in another time. Jeremy's story about the inspiration for the uniforms inspired me to visit that museum. Oh, that's cool. I hope you enjoyed it. It's quite nice there, at the Cosmonaut Museum. Question, how aloof and privileged do you have to be to believe that anyone can not ever be involved in politics? The, polit the personal is political. Mm. Well, yeah, sure. Um, what's the priority? 
no, for the record, I'm, I'm giving up on politics. I just can't be asked talking about it all the time because I, I've been talking about it for five years and it's really boring at the moment. Yeah, yeah of course. And my political views are changing overnight during this pandemic, to be honest, which is another reason why I'm not talking about them because I don't know where I am at the moment. My head's completely not where it was. So don't ask. Ask me in about a year what I think about everything because I can't even tell you right now. Um, is Jeremy taller than Alex? No, we're exactly the same height. We are literally exactly the same height. <laughs> We've done this a few times on a tour bus that isn't tall enough for either of us. It's hard to work out. Um, I instruct you to poo. Mm-hmm. Let's just ignore yeah. those ones. <laughs> I started watching Midnight Gospel um, a few weeks ago, and I, I did really like it. It was really good. A friend of mine uh, said I should watch it. Um, are we getting B-sides? Nah. At the moment. What do you think is the best thing you made? Reanimated. A few people here standing up for Roger Moore which, you know, in a way, he is our bond. He did more than any other, and he's the one we talk about, and he's the one we impersonate, so, you know. Brosnan's the best bond it, with the worst films. Yeah. Connery's the best films. And Moore's films are actually the most enjoyable to watch. The ones you actually watch, yeah. We watched one while we were making The Animator, actually, didn't we? You and me stayed up late, and we yeah. watched an absolutely <laughs> dismal Moore <laughs> the Greek Bond. It was terrible. What was that amazing one we watched with Pierce and uh, Michael Caine? Uh, it's called The Fourth Protocol, and it's my favourite film of all time. It's so good. So good. We watched it two nights running. Did you realise that the sewers erupting is a lyric in final form from the Arch Enemy video? Yes, I did. And the fat uh, wave I've talked about before as well. There's even lyrics in No Reptiles about that doing something. And I think I talked about it in an interview. Maybe it's in a song. I can't remember now. But it's something I've always, an image I've always had of the tidal wave of that. It was nice to put it, make it real time on. Duncan's here standing up for Roger Moore. Duncan who? Duncan Ellis. Love you, Duncan. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Do you mean really Duncan Ellis? Yeah. Hi, Duncan. Oh, um, hi, mate. Favorite Bond theme? Ooh, uh, probably yet yeah, one of the Shirley Bassey ones. Favorite Radiohead album? Uh, Tina's uh, back in Goldeneye. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that, 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 that's a U2 song, and that's been a huge influence on us, actually. Dun, 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Good way to, uh, with alternative lyrics for Liam Gallagher's BPI band. It was, so <laughs> it was great. Yeah, that was by Dave Sardine, actually. Jeremy, do you play both guitar and bass? Yeah, basically everybody does. Um, I played on a couple of Everything Only songs. What are your favourite songs to reanimate to play or favourite to listen to? We don't know yet. This is the problem. We've hardly had a chance to find out. Um, Why you shag me? Good question. Um, I took a picture with you in the US and said everyone should say eh instead of cheese, but you guys didn't get it at all. Do you just think <laughs> eh? Just Don't get it now. Oh, no, it's not subconscious. It's um, it's all from Rihanna's umbrella, but really it's from the dream who wrote that and he put it in all the songs from that era, and I started doing it then. Um, I just liked it. Um, right. Who's the best doc who? You're asking the wrong people, I'm afraid. We don't really know. I think it's probably... I'm going to say Tom Baker, because he's the one whose name I know. I actually, the only one I can really remember watching was the Paul McGann, like, one-off thing, which probably isn't to have much respect in the, in the crowd, but I don't, I don't know. I've never really, I've never really been a fan of it. 
Ooh, thoughts on Sylvan Esso, Alt-J. I really like both those bands, it's particularly Sylvan Esso, who I really love. And Alt-J are fun guys. Always have a good night with them. Mm. Will you do Zaget next year? Will anyone do Zaget next year? I hope so. John, most embarrassing moment on stage? Probably at the Feckler in Bristol, where my keyboard stand just collapsed in the middle of weights, and it just dropped to the floor at a really quiet part of the song. And obviously... I forgot about that. The music dropped. The day the music dropped. Um... What new bands are you listening to? Uh, we like a band from Liverpool called SPQR very much, and a band in Nottingham called Do Nothing. Those are my tips. Yeah, they're mine too. I just keep saying SPQR because I don't really listen to anything enough. I just keep they are great though. And they keep getting props from us. In fact, no, they sent me like an entire album's worth of demos just a few weeks ago and I've been listening to it and it's really fucking good. Oh, have you got that? Just send it to yeah, me. I want to hear that. Thank you. I might accidentally uh, leak it online, Jeff. You know, <laughs> like I did with the third Dutch Uncles album. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still sorry I did that. Um, let's have a look. Are your favourite songs from Reanimator favourite to play or favourite to listen to? Well, the funny thing about this period of time is that we haven't really played those songs ever. Like we played them once in the studio or twice or Mike's played his drums and I've played, I have sung on it, but whatever. We've not really played the song, so we don't really know what it feels like to play a lot of them. We've never really played Planets, for example. Um, so, or, or, we, or Arch Enemy, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. But yeah, we don't even know. Maybe, maybe they're really hard, maybe they're really easy, maybe they're really fun. I don't know. We've done them on the live stream, but it's not the same as being in, a, in the room with each other. Uh, Jeremy, what do you use in your hair, and will your curl be making appear an appearance this live stream? There you go. What's my curl? This thing, I suppose. This, this uh, I don't. I, it's like just some cheap and nasty stuff. That's what I use in my hair. Um, there was a good question here. Here we go. Oh, you, you can. Oh, that's good. How do I do that? Easiest song to play whilst monumentally hungover. Probably regret. <laughs> um, Get to Heaven turning five tomorrow. Is it? Wow. Is it? What's your favourite song from the album? Probably no reptiles, really. It's kind of undeniable. Um, I hope this is some kind of furry thing I'm doing. but Yeah, you've got a sort of monkey on your face. or Are you a brummy? Far from it, young lady. I am... <laughs> A, um, I'm not a Geordie, but I'm from there. Um, not a Bromie, not a Mank. I'm not really anything, aren't I? Jeremy, do you like President Heartbeat? I do like President Heartbeat. That song uh, was a sort of lifeline during quite a dry period when we were trying to write for Get to Heaven, and uh, I do like it. Oh, look at this. I'm definitely going to stick with this for a bit. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, Hi, Nick. favorite phoneme to accentuate in song? I don't know what a phoneme is. What is what's a phoneme, Jess? A phoneme? Yeah, don't know. It's probably for me. It's probably e. I, I, if that's a phoneme, I don't know. But it's the e oh, like saying. a phon like a phonic sound. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No. Okay, this one's all right. <laughs> yeah, this is about as much more you. <laughs> oh, Mercury and me. So that's the questions. What do you think of Elon Musk's Neuralink brain chip? Well, I wouldn't have it myself. No, they can't reassure man alive. Sorry, uh, must be. Be. sorry. That's all right. Uh, they can't reassure man alive, can't they? We'll see. Favorite bass player? We've done that. <laughs> Beans. Um, I, I quite agree. Well, I'm still back at when I was talking about Lord's voice, so I'm going to scroll a bit further. I don't know where I am. They keep. They just keep coming. If there was a program to colonize space, would you go? And if so, what would be the first song you play on a new planet? Really? <laughs> That's quite a big question, really. Obviously, I'd go. And the song would probably be. Um, uh, yellow Brick Road. 
Um, we all need to discuss poo. We um, don't. Favorite, Favorite sci-fi Bowie one? song. It's a good one. Favorite Bowie song is um, "Life on Mars," probably. Life on. Roger Moore impersonation. All right. Well, we'll let me finish my beer, and then we might do that. Is a Roger Moore impersonation? Stop <laughs> doing one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to get a bit later and smoke a bit more. <laughs> we'll get into that. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. When I uh, kill a man, I do it for Queen and Country. <laughs> Do him when he shouts. <laughs> thanks for putting out the man. Uh, thanks for putting out the Modern Bison EP. It rips. Do you guys ever miss making stuff like that? Yeah, sort of. In a way, it's a completely different musical mindset. Really, all of the development is so sort of tiny and incremental, and you have to. I don't really know how we made music in that way. To be honest, it's a it's a completely different mindset now. I'm glad we did it. It's God no. What the hell? Uh, behind the scene footage from Planet's vid when? That would only consist of the audio of me saying to the guy, just making a music video, mate, and the sort of that kind of sound of the monkey's mouth. There's nothing else really to go with. Um, which Lord of the Rings movie do you prefer? Two Towers, probably, because it's the least good one. I once saw you at Tate Liverpool. How would you describe your art taste? Oh, did you? Um, I like kind of 20th century British, you know, the Cornish lot. I like them, basically. Uh, and Dish Steel and that stuff. Pretty predictable, really. Um, also Animal Crossing, not played it. It looks incredibly boring. It looks like... It what actually, is Animal Crossing? It's a thing, right, where you, you basically have, like, a cute little avatar and you can water your plant or, like, for some reason, since about 2008, all video games, you have to be able to build a fucking house now. You can't just kill people. <laughs> you have to build a fucking house. That's nice, though, right? And then uh, water your plants or whatever or, like, craft some bollocks in Minecraft or make some shit in, in Fortnite. Or oh, even Fallout does it. I don't know why. Hang on, I'm going to have to interject here. I took a photo with you in Cardiff, and Jeremy was wearing a really, really stupid hat. Does he still have it? Does he think he's cool? I don't know which hat you're referring to, but yes, I do, and yes, I do. Probably. <laughs> to return to Animal Crossing, you, you just like do something like water your plant, and then you have to wait in real time for it to grow. So you have to you just you can only do a certain amount per day, then you have to come back. You actually have to come back the next day for a game you paid for and then see if it's grown a slight bit in you know nuclear world. And people love it. Why don't people not, just grow some plants? Because they're not connected to the real world anymore, mate. It's all fucking all online now. Right. Although it's probably not online with that game, I don't fucking have you ever heard a song in your dream that inspired some E E song? Uh, Alex did, didn't it? What was the song he dreamt up? That he dreamt the melody of? It was the actor, which is coming out on was it? Reanimator. Yeah, he dreamt, dreamt the melody. He dreamt the melody that I think we then scrapped. <laughs> um, Bars and melody. Do you remember them, Jez? Here's a question. Yeah. What, what, what's the question? Read it to me. No, it's coming out of my head. Do you oh, remember Bars and melody? I do. <laughs> I do remember Vars and Melody, mate, yeah. <laughs> I found out about them by going to the Arndale market and and seeing them on some hoodies. Would you come back to Moscow at some point of touring? We miss you. It was not long. It was not enough last time. Yeah, we really like Russia. We've had some crazy times in Russia. So, yeah, I hope so. Do you think Loyal Khan is the best English rapper? I like him. There are lots of great English rappers. Uh, what do you think of Black Midi's Rise? Um, I, I like that band. Um, I find it kind of surprising that 18 year olds are making music like that because when I was 18, I was making music like that as well. And it's just really encouraging. And it's kind of mysterious nature of the zeitgeist. Um, 
I hope they come back with something great soon. When did you start wearing scrubs to make an album? Why? Um, I used to just wear them all, not all the time, but I, they would be a, a thing in my wardrobe. And then I started wearing them on Man Alive. We started joking that I was wearing them because we were going deep, which is a reference to some kind of monster, the Metallica film, um, which makes an appearance on Man Alive, actually, at the end, in the muffled bit of final form. Um, we were obsessed with it. So every time I put them on, everyone knows that we're going deep now. And it doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's just a sort of tradition. I even did it on the most recent one. Um, Done it every time. Yeah. Okay. Worried about closing venues? Are you worried about closing venues, Jez? Yeah, obviously. Um, if we lose 80% of the grassroots music venue network, there's just nowhere to play for emerging artists and established artists alike. So yeah, very worried. They need government funding like anything else that contributes as much to the national exchequer. Uh, John, put the cat filter on. Say again, mate. Favourite Star Wars film, Des? Uh, Rogue One, probably. It's actually, actually the best one. Um, I'm fond of The Phantom Menace. Brummies are people too. Yes, they are. You're fond of Phantom Menace? Of course you are. Um, well, it's just so kind of mean now that it's just kind of, it's not even, it's just beyond a film now. It's just so ridiculous. Do you remember when you played the Globe in Cardiff and you pressed a button on the keys and it went on for ages, so you just walked off and started again? Yep, that was the first really? show on ARC, actually, and only me and Alex walked off and the others didn't, so it looked even worse. Um we used to start, start shows with a sample pressed on the keyboard of uh, my mind's telling me no. And then it was extended, so it just went no. And then Luddite the Lambs would start. That was probably one of our I first forgot about that. shows. That was how we used to start it. Um, it would be <laughs> over the top of the no. Ridiculous. We just thought that was fine to do. My mate Dell used to drive you around. Do you remember him? Of course. Dell's an Yeah, man. we love Dell. Massive nom. <laughs> so so I gather. Um, what are your opinions on Soviet abstract art? I don't know a lot about it. I like a lot of Russian constructivism. Uh, that's all I can tell you, really. Favourite Julia Jacklin song? Oh, I do love that last record of hers very much. Um, I think maybe Body is my favourite. Um... I like Pressure's Party as well. What happened to Bizarre and B? Hmm. I forgot about that. That was on the uh, on MySpace page 13 years ago. Changed. Is your drummer learned in jazz? Y yeah, he is. Very much so. That's his whole bag, really. Yeah. If you were both doctors, what sort would you be and why? <laughs> I'd be... An honorary doctor, like my dad is, <laughs> which he just uses uh, to get a rail card so that my mum can use it as well. <laughs> I would probably be a bollock doctor. Um, why so much space imagery in these new song titles, lads? I'm psyched. Uh, I've just been thinking about space quite a lot and, and stuff like that. Anything to get away from the little ants crawling around on the ball of the earth and their silly bollocks. I'm so sick of it. I just want to leave the planet and forget about all this crap that's boring me. Jazz, why play jazz bass with folds and not EE? -E? I do play jazz with EE -E sometimes. It's, it's song dependent, but they were always a jazz bass band before I was involved, so I thought I'd play that. It's what they're used to. It was quite a nice change for me. Did Jeff you play Man. with Foles at Truck 2019? Yes, I did. It was a good Best gig. Best pub in Manchester, Best pub in Manc. Best pub in Manchester. Oh, Henry C. in Chalton. Uh, very much so. Um, I travelled all the way from France to Norwich to see you when it got cancelled. Oh, so, God, we yeah. The France bit. Um, so did that lady from Spain who we're friends with. There were a few of those. That we got, we had like four gigs in a row cancelled at that be, uh, beginning of end of February, was it in twenty eighteen? 
it was a massive snowstorm and we'd have to load in every day and then just take the show down again because the police would tell us to. I'm very sorry to anybody that came out to those gigs and couldn't come to the reschedules. Do you like tacos, Jess? Do I like panicos? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Tacos. <laughs> tacos. Uh, sure. Yeah. I don't even know what panicos is. Panicos is that kebab place in Chalton, right. in Barlamore Road. Do you read the DMs on the Instagram account? I don't, but I think Mike does. I think Mike I'm does. Dropping him in it. Yeah. Um, um, there's usually just so much weird shit in there that we don't bother. Um, <laughs> do you remember the first time you wanted to be a killer musician? Nah. Nah. Really? Um, I do both so you can both fuck off. <laughs> Hi, Mark. <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. Um, I think I'm going around in circles here. I keep getting at questions about Alex's guitar solo and not the numbers over and over again. Maybe it's that popular. No, this is blood racing. No, no, no. I know Five Pens is shit, everyone. It's absolutely shit. But because of uh, Mr. Plinkett and because of Blank Check, the podcast, which you should check out, um, I've come to love the prequels because they're so shit and they're so kind of endlessly full of things to think about how good they are. So no, I'm not, I don't actually like it for God's sake. It's literally one of, one of the only two films I've fallen asleep uh, in the cinema at was uh, The Phantom Menace. I don't really want to <laughs> Do you like Beck? Yes, very much. I have been on a kind of Beck retrospective tip recently. Um, I really love Sea Change and Mutations and Guero in particular and uh, Midnight Vultures incredible bass player as well Justin Metal Johnson Jeremy Corbyn most... sorry Jess go on no go on what's been the most interesting new genre or music movement of recent years well I don't know how new this is anymore but the whole um, thing about the whole thing going on in Blackpool, I really liked. The BG Media stuff. Um, kids rapping, I thought it was great. I don't know how new that is now. Yeah, it's probably not as new as we think it is, is it? That was Little T and all that lot, wasn't it? In Blackpool. Yeah. Mm. Who would win in a fight with a polar bear and a Nile crocodile? Beard. Who would win in so a fight? You... Polar bear and a crocodile, but a crocodile that comes from the Nile, specifically. I reckon polar bear. The Nile crocodile's got a kind of thin snout. It doesn't. It's not very substantial. Yes. Yeah, so Sophie has been little tea. Them lot. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um. What did you both have for breakfast? Um. Roast. Nothing. I haven't eaten all day. I can't remember. Have you not eaten today? No. You should eat something, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, best walk album. Uh, the one with yoga on it. Or yoga or however you say it. I don't know. I really like that one. Do then, you um, like and listen to Glass Animals? Yeah. And they're good guys. HMV Manchester show for Reanimator. Is it still cool. there? We're still there. Didn't we close it down seven years ago? They tend to avoid any band that I hear good things about that are slightly like us. I just completely ignore the output until years have passed <laughs> in case they're better than, than, than us, even though I'm utterly convinced they can't be. Totally ridiculous. Like, I, I've still never listened to um, to Old Jay. Don't even know that, I don't even know if they're good or not because I'm too hung up about it stupid shit to even listen. I'm pretty sure they're good. I've seen them live and it was good. Um, and they're nothing like us, but... It was good, yeah. We went to see them. I haven't sat down and listened to the Catskills in my entire life. I still don't actually know what the Arctic Monkeys is all about, you know, because they were so hype. You have. You have. I've, I've, I've done it with you. That's why we wanted to listen with Fordo. You can't help but hear them, but I still don't... I still don't really... I don't... I just don't do it when a band gets those a hype. Or they're like, oh, it's the new... 
band that I like, whatever it is, I just avoid because I'm just I'm just too yeah. Oh, I'm I'm like that with like TV and films and stuff. As soon as people actually start talking about it, the ubiquity just turns me off. I put off. That's why I never watched Brace, Breaking Bad. I'm really mm-hmm. glad I didn't put off the strokes, actually. I'm really glad I found mm-hmm. my own way in before all the hype happened. Jeremy, I got a picture with you in Missouri when you and Foles opened for Interpol. Thank you for being nice. Great show. Thank you. I love Interpol. Just to reiterate, I fucking love that band. Best Bjork album. Um, Homogenic or Vespertine? Mm-hmm. Planets reminded me of Man Alive songs. Will you see a return to your roots with more songs from Reanimator? I yes, p- potentially. I would say that Reanimator, if if it's going to be compared to any of our previous records, is probably most akin to Man Alive in its sense of innocence and fun. Did you know it's ten years today? I saw you support Keen on the Forestry Tour. No, I didn't. Ten years today. Lots of stuff is ten years old. Um. What songs have you guys covered but never performed live? What? <laughs> uh, well, I suppose the stuff we've done for Radio 1. Oh, right. Yeah. Especially Which are, and by and large, disasters. <laughs> um, night and Day or Death Institute? Ooh. And we're very fond of Night and Day yeah, for yeah. personal reasons. The Deaf Institute's a great venue too. The point is, they both have their place. Yeah. Um, I'd love to come to Vancouver. Amazing city. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Has anyone thrown a bra at you at any shows? No, someone was playing with a dildo famously. Oh, we've had a bra over the barrier. Yeah, come on, let's get, let's let's Look give ourselves that me. credit. I, I yeah, don't know what we've had we've had we've had the odd one, <laughs> um, but literally like twice. In what did you think of the last interval album, Jess? Um, I liked it. I like all their records, but I'm particularly attached to the early parts of their career. Like most of their fans, I think it's just very very sustaining. Uh, yes. John's Speaking Voice Squad represents, I mean, John Mm. plays a mean, Jeremy plays a mean keyboard bass on Kimisabi. Are there other songs where the Novation keyboard makes an appearance? Yeah, kind of retrospectively, I sort of reverse engineer a lot of the recordings and then play keys on quite a lot of it live, like uh, off the top of my head. Um, Good Shot, Good Soldier and a few other bits and bobs it's probably there for about a third of the set actually do you like idols? yes I do Um, what is your favourite Interpol song? Mm. Uh, PDA for now did you come up with a little P of course although he's not little anymore and uh, something about the magic's slightly gone so He's probably about 24 now. Um, I just want you to know To the Blade Still Slaps. It does, actually. Thank you for saying that. We, we've been thinking about that song a little bit recently and thinking we might not have to work it back into the set. Or at least we were three months ago. We'd love to have some too. I'd absolutely love to go. And uh, to Mexico would be great. Which one of you has the worst alcohol tolerance? <laughs> None of us. Uh, probably Mike. Uh, what do you think about Friendly Fires and Metronomy? We like both those bands very much. Yes, we do. Uh, nice people. Yeah, nice good. People. Great music. Uh, uh, Favourite TV comedy series? Um... Peep show, sort of, sort of slotted into our twenties perfectly. I would say that that's up there for us. Are you still angry about the Mercury Prize? Of course. Nah. <laughs> Which one? 
No, no. Why did this keep disappearing? Um. <clears throat> Make a Radiohead cover album, cowards. <laughs> We've made five. How many do you want? Right. <laughs> do you like Richard Dixon? I don't know who he is, I'm afraid. Sorry. I think, I think he was caretaker at my first school. <laughs> um, PDA when Barricade exists. Well, I do, I do love Barricade, actually. I do. It's, it's definitely the best song on that album. Why is Choice Mountain your best song? That's one I want to know. I'm very fond of that song. Um, thoughts on Grizzly Bear, the band? Yeah, we were really into that Van Vecatomist record when we first started our band. Uh, Gig at the Barrows was an absolute belt. We really enjoyed playing the Barrowlands because we'd never been there before or since. So, yeah, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. We loved it. Favourite vegetable? That's a Beach Boys song, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's on, it's on the Freaky album. Smiley smile or smile or something like that. Smiley smile. Uh, anyway, it's an aubergine. Uh, worst Manchester band. Oh, let's get into it. Twisted Wheel. Yeah, it might be. It might be. Bless them. Um, is that the real Wes Borland? What can we even say? Johnny, what's my favourite song? No. Um, <laughs> favorite sci-fi author well oh, what do you mean by sci-fi oh, we better we better fuck off before we see these numbers drop um, um we are supposed to close this down aren't we okay but i'm sort of enjoying myself where's ball and official <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if it is him Hope so. Hi, Wes. You were the best part of that awful band. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to choose a couple more each. You go first. What languages can Jeremy speak? I can speak a tiny bit of pidgin French. That's it. Nothing. A really. bit of English. We're all awful at languages because we're British men. Did you read Harry Potter as kids? No, not really. I always thought it was sort of, sort of surprisingly unimaginative, actually. And, um, yeah, it just never really appealed to me. Also, we were probably a bit too old for it. Yeah, I never really got it. No, old. same. So... Do you remember Love Saves Today in Bristol? I was talking about that festival yesterday, actually. Yes, I do. It's really nice. He hot chip headlined. It was a great show, that. Did you ever do a jazz album? Uh we, we might we might if we let alex and mike completely take control and, pr yeah. and play everything <laughs> then yeah, yeah. Um, rick mail or adrian edmondson that's for you john obviously rick mail yeah i agree it has to be doesn't it will lord of the trapdoor be the best song on reanimator i do love that one very much so it's possible that's up to you mm -hmm. Thoughts on vegetarianism? Any of you vegetarian? Uh, I was sort of grew up as a pescatarian and then I got lazy and drunk and started eating other people's kebabs, but I'm still sort of spiritually a vegetarian and sometimes I am one. Um, I respect it. I wish I had the fortitude to be one, really. How are Mike and Alex? Very well, thank you for asking. Yeah, yeah we're fine. Uh, okay. Well, I think we may have exhausted. These. I think so. 